Okay guys, this is Chad from Stick's Blog. I'm Stick. Uh, just want to do a real quick video and talk about gear that I'm going to be carrying with me on an upcoming hike. Uh, I'm actually leaving out next Thursday. Um, I'm going to be out Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and then I'll come home Sunday. And uh, I'm going to be connecting a piece of the AT, so uh, that'll give me all the way from actually Amicalola Falls. Uh, did, we did the approach trail, but I'll have all the way from there up to Ice Water Springs and the uh, Smokies completed. Um, actually, I take that back up above Sassafras, uh, right near the NOC. There's a two mile stretch that I don't have, but other than that, um, I'll have all the way up through through there. Um, so anyway, um, I'm getting all my stuff together for the hike. Uh, I'm planning on temperatures to be about mid 20s or so at night, uh, so it shouldn't be too cold, but there's always a chance that it might drop a little bit lower. Um, I'm expecting um, rain the first day. Uh, the other two days I'm going to be out. I'm expecting it to be uh, maybe a little bit cloudy or overcast or clear. Um, and uh, other than that, um, I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started. Like I said, I, I've got all my stuff laid out here. Um, it's ready to put in the pack. Uh, so what I'm going to do, and instead of going through each piece, I've kind of got it broken down into categories, which is the way that I make my gear list. Uh, I'm not sure if this will focus in here. You can see here, this is just a portion of my gear list. Um, as you can see, the first section I've got pack, I've got shelter, sleeping gear, and so on. And I've got each of those, uh, those sections, I've got a total weight for that section. So that's the way I'm going to talk about um, what I'm going to be carrying with me on this trip. Um, so first off, start off with pack, and you actually can't see the pack. I've got it over here, but I'll show you. Um, the pack that I'm going to be using is my z -Packs. Uh This is the Blast 30 backpack. Uh, it's got the two side pockets, and it's got the front mesh pocket. Um, other than that, it's pretty standard. Um, that's going to be my backpack that I'm going to carry with me. Uh, inside my pack, I'm going to have one of the Light Trail Nylo Barrier uh, Odorproof Pack Liners. Um, that's actually going to be lining my pack as a pack liner. And then, like I said, I am planning on rain, and it is going to be cold, so I do a lot to uh, keep um, my stuff dry, and that's also going to include the Z-Packs Cuban Fiber um, pack liner. And those are the items that I have listed under pack, and for the total weight of those items, it comes to 10.8 ounces. Um, the next the group that I've got, let me see here, I think I'm going to leave the camera about where it is. Um, the next item I've got is going to be my shelter, uh, and that's right here. Uh, this is the Yama uh, Mountain Gear Seraform S, uh, SW single wall tent, and I've got um, six of the Lawson Klein Shepherd Hook Stakes, and I've got two of the MSR um, Carbon Core Stakes I just did a little write up on, and then of course a stake bag. Uh, and for that, total weight comes to 21.9 ounces. Uh, the next, the next um, section is going to be my sleeping gear, and that's going to make up a pretty good section. Um, everything here uh, I've got, uh, this is actually a 35 degree Enlightened Equipment Prodigy Quilt. Um, here I have the uh, goose, goose Feet Gear Stuff Sack Down Pillow, and I have the Large Exped uh, UL Pillow. And I've got a little piece of cord on there because that actually is a little 1 16th inch shock cord. It'll uh, loop around to that other side and this will actually help hold my pillow uh, in place. Uh, other than that, I have my 1 8 inch Gossamer Gear uh, Thin Light Pad. And this will actually stay attached to the outside of my pack. I'll use it during the day as my sit pad. And then at night, I'll put it up underneath my, uh, my X-Lite, which is right here. This is the large size Neoair X-Lite. Uh, but I'll put this underneath that just to make sure if there is anything sharp or pointy um, that kind of comes through my tent floor, um, that pad should uh, help protect that. Uh, and that is my sleeping gear. Uh, and for all those pieces, it comes in at 40 ounces. Um, and of course, also, uh, my, um, my quilt is inside the Z-Packs. I think it's a medium-sized dry sack, and it is taped. Um, the next thing is my kitchen gear. See it over here. Um, for this trip, I'm going to bring my Jet Boil Soul TI. Uh, 
All I have of it is I've got the Ruta Lacura uh, carbon fiber lid I'm using on the top. Cut out a little weight using that other lid that came with it. Uh, the actual cook pot, the cozy, and then I've got the stove inside there. I've got a fuel canister inside there. Um, and I've got a piece of a light load towel inside there. Um, but anyway, uh, my kitchen gear consists of the Jet Bowl Soul TI, uh, the light load towel, long handle REI tie wear spoon, which is actually in my food bag, um, DIY Reflectix Food Cozy, which is also in my food bag, and then the MLD 475 milliliter mug, and I've got a DIY Reflectix Cozy and hot lips on that. Uh, and for those items, uh, it's 11.7 ounces. Um, the next category is called Essentials and Other Stuff. Uh, the first thing I have is my trekking poles, and these are new trekking poles for me. These are Fizen uh, compact uh, trekking poles. They come in at 5.65 uh, ounces a piece. Um, but I'm going to use these to hold up my shelter. Uh, they are three-piece collapsible poles. Um, I've got those. I have a pocket profile map, which is all I ever carry when I'm on the AT because that's all that I need. Um, I've got my Z-Pax Cuban Fiber Blast food bag, which is back here. Uh, inside the food bag, I have a, a Light Trail Nilo Barrier Odor Proof bag. I have a Light Trail H-Line, which is what I use for my bear line. There's also a mini carabiner in there. Um, I have a, a 2 liter Platypus, which is right here. Uh, this is for water once I get to camp or if I need to carry extra water while I'm hiking. Um, and then my water system is actually going to be just a little bit different on this trip. Typically I carry Gatorade bottles on my shoulder straps, um, but for this trip I'm going to do it a little bit different. Uh, I've got my Sawyer squeeze here. All I have is just the squeeze. And I actually bought the inline adapters. And I've got a Platypus drinking tube with the inline adapters attached. And then I've got just a one liter Platypus bottle. And that is actually going to be my uh, water carrying system. Uh, I'll just stop and fill this up with water whenever I come to a water spot. Uh, this will ride in one of the side pockets on my backpack. Of course the drinking tube will be connected straight to that and it'll come up over my shoulder just like a uh, drinking tube normally does. And I'm going to give that method a try. I saw a buddy of mine um, use that on a recent trip and I thought it looked interesting. And since this blast pack I have does have side pockets, um, I can use it um, like that. Um, other than that, I've got my Wabin Cuban Fiber Wallet, which is just my daily carry wallet, and I carry everything that's inside there. Uh, my pants have zip, zippered pants, uh, zippered back pocket. Um, I've got toilet paper um, because I haven't been brave enough to try Mike Cleland's uh, rock. Yep. Um, then I've got a travel toothbrush uh, with uh, toothpaste and that's inside my food bag and then I've got a gallon Ziploc and for all those items I just named it comes to 13.5 ounces. Um, the next category is going to be electronics. Um, I have my Zebra Light H51. Uh, it only has a single battery inside it and of course I've got my DIY headband. I've got my Samsung Galaxy 3 and a lock sack phone and when I go this uh, cover on my Galaxy 3 actually comes off. I don't use the case, the OtterBox case, uh, while I'm hiking because my phone is packed away inside my pack. There's no concern about getting it damaged. And then I have my Kindle here. And I have my Kindle inside a one quart uh, Ziploc bag. And I don't know if you can see that, but I've also got a little silica, one gram silica gel pack in there uh, to help absorb any kind of moisture that might be in there. Um, and for all of those items under electronics comes in 11 ounces. So that's, that's a pretty big hit um, for such a small thing. And actually, uh, this candle um, is completely a luxury item. Uh, that's just a little over 6 ounces by itself. So on trips where I'm, I'm really watching weight, that candle doesn't go with me. Um, next is going to be my Diddy bag, which is right here. And just so you know, everything that's inside there weighs 10.06 ounces. Um, just so you know, of course, I've got the Z-Pax Cuban Fiber Bag. Um, there's two of the 4x5 lock sacks in there, and then each of those lock sacks also have one of the 1 gram silica dry packs. Uh, and then I've got my first aid kit in there. First aid kit weighs 3.2 ounces. Uh, and these are just subcategories. Uh, the total weight of everything in here is 10.06, but to break it down even farther, uh, my first aid kit weighs 3.2 ounces, which is inside here. Uh, my emergency items weighs 2.3 ounces. 
uh, the hygiene or cleaning accessories uh, weighs 2.75 ounces. Uh, my repair kit weighs 1.24 ounces. My fire starter kit weighs 0.4 ounces. And then miscellaneous, which is really just extra battery for my headlamp and some earplugs, weighs 0.51 ounces. And that gives me the total 10.06 ounces. And uh, this is something that I keep pretty close to me, keep on the outside of my pack, because uh, basically this is just like kind of like my do-it-all bag. I've got everything in here that I should need. Um, the next thing is going to be clothing packed, uh, or packed clothing. Um, let's see here. For my packed clothing, um, I've got this back here. This is one of the Lawson Klein. Um, this is one of his uh, Cuban fiber dry bags. Uh, inside there I have all my packed clothing uh, that I'm going to use and mostly this is uh, sleep clothing and extra insulation to supplement my 35 degree quilt. Um, inside there I have a pair of thin liner socks. I have a pair of Goose Feet Gear down socks. Um, also inside there I have a pair of Goose Feet Gear custom down pants. I have a Montbell Ultralight down inner parka. I have a serious Neo Fleece comfort mask which is just a mask to cover my nose and my cheeks. Um, and it's got a cutout underneath my nose so that when I'm breathing at night, uh, my cheeks and my nose stay warm, but um, it's cut out up underneath so all that moisture is not getting stuck to the inside of the mask. Um, and then I have a original buff, and then I've got my Black Rock Gear Down hat, um, which actually may come out with me some during the, uh, the day while I'm hiking, just depending on the temperatures. Um, and then also I have my Black Rock Gear uh, over booties. That way in the middle of the night I can just throw these on over my down socks, leave my down socks on, I'll worry about putting my shoes on. Um, and then I have my Outdoor Research PL150 uh, gloves and my Z-Packs Waterproof Breathable Cuban Fiber Rain Mitts. And um, for all of those items it comes at 28 ounces. And as you can tell that's, that's a huge hit. Um, and that, like I said, is supplementing my 35 degree quilt. Of course once the temperatures warm up I can leave that out and save a, a considerable amount of weight. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is going to be my rain and wing gear. Uh, I've got my um, Patagonia Houdini here. I've got my Luke's Ultralight Seal Nylon Rain Jacket. And then underneath that I have my uh, Dry Ducks Rain Pants. And uh, I wear these also at night at camp um, because my, my down pants are pretty fragile material. It's made out of 10D. So um, when I'm wearing those around camp at night, I'll throw my rain pants on over it and that'll help protect my, my down pants. Um, but those items come to 13.3 ounces. And then the last thing that I want to talk about, um, all of that stuff that I just talked about is actually going to be inside my pack, uh, other than, you know, like my poles and stuff like that. But the way I've got everything broken down into is packed weight, uh, everything I just showed you, my total pack weight is 10.02 pounds or 160.26 ounces. Uh, the items that I actually carry with me is 1.03 pounds and that's going to be things like my trekking poles and uh, um, I can't remember off the top of my head. I have to go through my list here. But anyway, there's um, like my wallet, my trekking poles, uh, the elevation map, my, uh, well I already said my wallet, stuff like that. Those are things that are actually uh, carried on me. Um, and then next thing I have is a multi-pack weight and this is going to be a new one for me. Um, as some of you may know I got a new camera which is actually what I'm shooting this video with and um, it's more of a higher end camera at least as far as I'm concerned. Um, it's a pretty expensive camera and I plan on taking a little bit better care of this camera while I'm on the trail. So what I've done is I've turned my Z-Packs multi-pack, if you can see that, um, I've actually turned it into a camera pack. And just go ahead and tell you what everything is. Um, first off, I took the Z-Packs, the multi-pack, and I had a bunch of tape, so I actually taped all the seams inside it. So it's as waterproof as it's going to get. Now, I'm not saying it's 100% waterproof, but it's as waterproof as it's going to get. Um, inside here, I have a uh, 6.75 by 6 inch lock sack, and I have a little dry pack, one of those 1 gram silica Dry, sack, dry packs in there and uh, this is what I'll use if it's raining I'll go ahead and I'll put my camera inside this and then it'll sit inside my pack and it should stay dry uh, but I've got that I've got two extra batteries and I also have one of the silica packs inside there to help keep that cleaned out or dried out and then I have an extra SD card 
Um, I'm carrying a 32 gigabyte SD card uh, in the camera, but I also have an 8 gigabyte SD card to back up just in case I need. Um, and then I have, this is my polarizer, a linear polarizer uh, filter. And I'm carrying it in this case because this was a pretty expensive uh, filter. I paid like 80 bucks for it, so I'm going to do my best to try and protect it. So if it's not going to be on the camera, it's going to be inside this case. Uh, this case weighs half an ounce, but um, for that amount of money, I'm willing to protect it. Um, and then I have my UltraPod camera tripod. I'm still trying to figure out if I like this or not. My biggest complaint so far, I must say, is, is having to screw this onto the camera each time. I'm afraid that I'm going to drop my camera or something while I'm actually trying to screw it on. Um, I really like the quick attachment that my Joby GorillaPod offered, and I may end up going back to that, but I'll see. But I have that. And then this is just a do-it-yourself um, closed cell foam. There's a leaf. Um, this is a quarter inch closed cell foam pad that I had. I cut uh, pieces out and just made just essentially a little box here. And then I used some Gorilla Tape to tape it all together. And this actually weighs 1.7 ounces. That Gorilla Tape really added a lot of weight to it. Uh, but it should make it pretty, pretty, uh, pretty it should hold up pretty well. Uh, but anyway, for all those items, uh, that comes to 23.8 ounces. So that's basically a pound and a half uh, for my camera gear. And that's also, of course, counting my camera, which does include the SD card and a battery in it. Um, so, um, now that I've got all that, uh, of course, the last thing I've got up here is my food bag. And my food, let's see, it comes in at um, 5.09 pounds. Um, as far as my fuel, I've got 5.4 ounces of fuel, uh, and that does include the canister, which is inside my jet boil here. Um, my water, um, I'm looking at having about 44 ounces of water. That ain't right. Um, I need to actually change that. I'm only going to have, um, considering I'm only going to fill this up, I should only have uh, about 34 ounces of water. Uh, so I have to change that. So that's about 10 ounces I've got extra figured in there. Uh, but anyway, my total base pack weight, like I said, is 10.02 pounds. Uh, my total pack weight, including my consumables, is going to be 18.2 pounds. However, that's going to be just a little bit lower because, like I said, I've had too much water figured in. Uh, so I'm actually looking at probably about 17.5 um, pounds uh, as long as this water is full. Um, and then my total skin out weight, that's going to include everything. The clothes that I'm wearing, my multi-pack, my pack weight, my consumables, everything. is going to be 24.75 ounces. So anyway, guys, that's the gear that I'm going to be carrying with me on this hike. Like I said, this is... Uh, it's a. Uh, it's not going to be a big hike. It's a pretty, pretty small hike. The most miles I think I'll be hiking in a day is going to be about twelve, um, and then the least amount is going to be eight. So I ain't got to worry about going super ultra light or anything like this. And a lot of these items are definitely luxury items. You know, I could definitely cut out weight um, by carrying an alcohol system rather than my jet boil. Um, but you know, that's obviously a convenience. Of course, I can leave my Kindle out, um, but I'm actually going to be alone for one of the nights at least. Um, so it'll give me something to do while I'm laying there at night. Um, I could have carried a, a much lighter food bag set up. Um, it would actually lay weighed less than an ounce. Um, and that food bag set up I've got back there weighs two ounces just for the bag and the odor-proof bag. Um, of course, I could have left the uh, I could have left the dry bags off of the uh, both the quilt and my clothes and just stuffed it down in there um, since I'll be using a pack liner and a, a pack cover. Um, on my pack, but I figure, you know, may as well. Um, of course, I could leave the pillow behind. I could leave the uh, eighth inch closed cell foam pad behind because it's not going to be cold enough to require two pads to sleep on. Um, so there's, there's a number of things that I could do to drop some weight, but this trip isn't exactly about that. And like I said, it's a 10 pound base pack weight. Um, that's not really bad. Uh, of course, that's leaving out the camera weight, like I said, it's another pound and a half. But even if you add that together, it's still only 11 and a half pound base pack weight. Um, which is still, you know, if you go by the numbers, um, some people still consider that ultra light. Uh, <clears throat> and then when you add in all my food and stuff, I'm looking at under 18 pounds for everything. So I'm not really too concerned about it. 
But anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. I know it's been a long video. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to post them below, and I'll do my best to get back to you and answer those. And uh, also check out my food video. I did a video, and it's another long video. And I had all the contents of my food laid out on the table, and I kind of talked about each of those. And uh, guys, I appreciate you watching. See you later.